SwiftUI makes it very easy to create custom UI components because they're effectively just regular views with an at binding property that exposes its data elsewhere. To demonstrate this, we're gonna build a star rating component that lets users rate things from one star to five stars. Now we could build this nice and simple, so it works exactly for our current needs here. But it's often a good idea to add some extra flexibility so you can reuse the code in other projects. Here, that means we'll add six customizable properties. First, what title should we next to the star rating? This will be an empty string by default. Second, what should the maximum rating be? Default for five, for five star. Then we'll say, what are the off and on images, which dictate which image to use when it's highlighted or not. So we'll say nil for the off image, meaning uh, use the on image for it, and then a filled star for the on image. So if we find nil in the off, we'll use the on image for it. So it's the same image there too. You can have different ones if you want to, like filled and not filled, for example. Then we'll have the off and on colors, which dictate the colors to use if a star has been filled or not. And then we'll use uh, gray for off and a uh, yellow color for on by default. We're gonna add one extra property here to store an at binding integer. This is the one that will report back to the user selection wherever else you want it, any other view you want. And so we'll start making a new Swift UI view. So Command N, Swift UI view. Call this thing a rating view. Then we'll give it some properties. First up, at binding var rating is an int. That's the one that we passed externally. Then our label string, empty string by default. Then our maximum rating integer, will be five by default. Then our off image, an optional image, what to use if it's not highlighted. Then an on image, will be by default image with system name of uh, star dot fill by default. Then off color is color dot gray. And then on color is color dot yellow. All customizable. So you can override to have higher maximum rating, custom off and on image, custom off and on color, everything, all customizable. Now before we fill in the body, Please try and build the code. You should see all being well. Your previous thing down here will fail straight away because we have not passed in a binding to use in our preview. Now, Swift UI has a specific and simple solution for this kind of problem here called a constant binding. These are bindings that have fixed values so you can't change them, which on the one hand means they can't be changed by the UI, but also means we can create them trivially. They're perfect for previews. We can say our rating view has a rating of dot constant four, just the value four, not changeable. And now the code will compile and preview as normal. Okay, let's turn to our body property here. This is gonna be a H stack containing any label that's provided, text, plus as many stars that have been requested. If they want to, of course, they could choose a different image, but it's star dot fill by default. It could be airplanes or who knows what, it's their choice. Now the logic of showing which image is fairly simple, but it's perfect for carving off into its own method to reduce the complexity of our body. The logic is this. If the number that was passed in is greater than the current rating, so if rating is three and number is five, then return uh, the off image because the, the rating is a disparity there. Otherwise return the on image. Then, if the number was passed in is equal to or less than the current rating, return the on image. So we'll show the right image depending on the rating that's passed in. So we'll say down here, func image for number int returns an image. If the number we're being asked to draw is greater than the rating we have right now, it means send back the off image. Remember, this is optional. You don't have to provide one. You can, if you want to, use on image for both. So we'll do nil coalescing for on image. In all other cases, our rating is at least the number we're being drawn right now. Return the on image. And now the body property is surprisingly easy. If the label has any text, 
use it. And then have a for reach to count from one to the maximum rating plus one and call image four repeatedly. Applying along the way a foreground color on each of the one of the stars and a tap gesture to adjust the rating. So we'll say in our body here, there's a H stack. If our label is empty, is false, then do text of label. And then we'll say uh, for each one up to maximum rating plus one with the ID of backslash dot self. Give me a number coming in. Display image for that number with a foreground color. Now here we want to say is our number we're drawing right now greater than our rating? So they haven't rated it as high as this number currently is. If so, use the off color. Otherwise, use the on color. And then add an on tap gesture, which do rating equals this number. And that completes our rating view already. I'll press preview and hopefully it'll snap in. Boom, four stars filled in with a gray star at the end. <clears throat> That's all it takes. But right, now we can go back to add book view here we have the little picker right now. Not very nice going in and out for a single number and just seeing numbers anyway isn't very nice. And replace that whole picker with a rating view with a rating of dollar rating. And now we'll get our little star rating component right here. That's all it takes. So our default values are sensible, right? Stars that are filled in and yellow or gray by default. It looks great out of the box and the result is much nicer too. I'm going to tap into the detail view with a picker because star ratings are just more natural and more common too.